Okay, what's the theme of our conference this year? Huh? Courage, have faith. The Greek word for faith is what? Pistis. Say it with me. Pistis. Doesn't mean much, just faith. <laughs> I once asked a translator of the New International Version, what does this Greek word mean? And he says, what we translated it as. That's why we translated it as that word. <laughs> so it means faith. Faith is the realization of what is hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Book of Hebrews. And 2 Corinthians 5, 6 says, So we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. And we live in a time when we face a lot of challenges, don't we? Did you know here in the United States only 17% of Catholics go to church regularly? 17%. Pew Forum is generous and says 22. So it's somewhere between 17 and 22% go to church regularly, which means once a month. Only 15% of Catholic youth go to church. If it were a denomination, the second largest denomination in the United States would be what? Non-practicing Catholics. There are 30 million of them. And did you know that 50% of the big mega churches down the street are filled with non-practicing Catholics? Now, they don't go there, folks, because they disagree with our doctrine. There was some guy out on the, on the walk there, Dominic. I forget. He, he had a Catholic Lives little stand. I almost walked over to him, and I said, tell me about those. But he didn't do it. So here's the deal. They go there because they find engaged worship, engaged music. People sing. They go there because the preaching is engaged, and the listeners to the preaching are listening, not going, eight minutes. Nine minutes. No, we got to become engaged, so we have to learn how to sing. So today we're going to go a little higher. I'm going to ask you to sing. We're going to worship a little together, and we're going to go a little deeper. And we're going to be talking about the great gift that we have that most other churches, except for the Orthodox and the Eastern, or the Eastern and Oriental churches have, that's the Eucharist. We have a great gift. The world is hungry for what we have to give. We go back and forth across the United States with our ministry team. We are renewing the church one parish at a time and the people of God one human heart at a time. And you know what? Catholics are ready to get excited about their faith again. You believe that? Come on. Yeah. So you ready to sing a little? Thank you. Okay, here we go. Give Jesus your praise. Give Jesus a hand. Come on. There you go. Come on. All right. Here's one that's in the Missalettes, and I've been singing it for a long time. You probably know it. It's from Psalm 95. We begin every morning either with Psalm 95 or Psalm 100 in the Roman Liturgy of the Hours. And this is a challenge. How many of you are over 50. Okay, you and me, gang. All right, here's the deal. In the morning, sometimes I wake up and I go, oh, God. <laughs> I'm not using his name in vain, but I'm just going, oh, God, it hurts. Everything hurts. And, and sometimes I wake up in the morning seeing the challenges to go, oh, God. See, the church challenges us to wake up in the morning and to give lauds to God, to give praise to God, to concentrate on the beautiful, positive things in our life. Because folks, no matter how bad things get, there are wonderful things happening all around us all the time. So sing with me, come worship the Lord. Come 
worship the Lord, for we are His people, the flock that He shepherds. Alleluia. Once more, sing it out. Come, worship the Lord, for we are His people, the flock that He shepherds. Beautiful. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, you know, in the liturgy of the church, we include not only our spirit and our soul, but our body, too. The Lord wants everything we are, spirit, soul, and body. So we use signs and gestures and symbols, and we get the body into the act. So it's in that spirit that we're going to do that here this afternoon. Everybody who can, stand up together. There you go. Now we're going to rock back and forth with the music, and because we're one people in Christ, we're going to all try to go in the same direction. Ha <laughs> ha! So, you ready? Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Yeah, I know. It's the afternoon. This is a terrible time to do a concert. I'm getting very sleepy. Now, on the lyric, come worship the Lord, take your hands and extend them out before you with your palms turned up. Okay, you charismatics. We're going to get there. Don't worry. Just, just like this. Just try it, just like that. Just low, kind of. Yeah, I know it's hard. They want to rise. They want to rise up. But Right, left, right. For we are his people. Reach out and hold each other's hands. Come on, hold each other's hands, whether you know them or not. You can use Purell later. It's okay. The flock that he shepherds, lift your hands up over your heads, keeping them held together. Wow, what a great symbol of our unity in Christ. If we would join together, we could change the world, but we spend way too much time fighting each other, don't we? And on Alleluia, open your hands up into the air. Open them up. Shake them around. There you go. Yeah, we use this in the nursing homes. We call it... We call it praiser size. <laughs> Let's put it all together. Right, left, right, left. Here we go. Come worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock that he shepherds. Hallelujah. Let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us come with thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, worship Last time now. Come worship the Lord. Lift your voices. For we are his people, the flock that he shepherds. And Alleluia from head to toe. Alleluia. Once more, Alleluia. Alleluia. One last time, Alleluia. There you go. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alleluia. Alleluia. You can be seated.